निश्चित अनुक्षण यत परि अनुक्षण यत परिहृत्य कृत्यम अनाद विद्या कृतवर्ष सो क्यूट यू नो ये ही मस्ट हैव इन ट्रेमेंडस बूड टू राइट ऑल दिस यू अंडरस्टैंड जस्ट थिंक अब हंड्रेड्स और हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इयर्स बैक इफ देर इज अ कंट्रोवर्सी अबाउट शंकर टाइम सम पीपल से सेवन सिक्स सेंचुरी बी सी सम पीपल से सिक्स सेंचुरी ए डी इट डज मैटर हु एन इट इज डेफिनेटली फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड इयर्स बैक थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इयर्स बैक इमेजिन द मैच्यूरिटी ऑफ द माइंड द डेक्सटरिटी ऑफ लैंग्वेज द डेफ्थ ऑफ द विजन हाउ मेनी पीपल टूडे विथ आर बेस्ट कॉम्पिटेटिव एजुकेशन हाउ मेनी पीपल रीच द शार्पनेस ऑफ द माइंड हाउ मेनी पीपल आर दर इंसाइट इन टू माइंड यू कैन बी वेरी लॉन्डेड यू नो एवरीथिंग अवर स्टार्स प्लानिट्स मिल्की वेज गैलेक्सीज द बिहेवियर ऑफ द मंकीज टाइगर्स वेल्स सेल्स और द फेलो डॉज नो हाउ इज ओन माइंड बिहेव top professional but what a miserable life why today we are in trouble with the so called leaders whenever anywhere whether it is a religious leader political leader social leader the person because of his money because of his education because of his power because of his position or because of his heredity now he is occupying a place but the pilot does not know anything about his own mind so one confused fellow ruling over million confused fellow and especially in democracy what happens democracy is the most beautiful form of government but in democracy who chooses the leader the majority and in any society who are the majority idiots <laughs> in any society who is the majority idiots are majority now those idi- among them they are idiots are forming different groups half of them communist half of them uh, democrat uh, politician these are that politics why the person thinks so oh, everybody must be in the same level now are you nuts is a very good ideal no doubt about it why communism failed in russia why communism failed in china Except in India, it is everywhere there because Indians have more number of you know what type of people, poor, uneducated people. Why is it so? Because please appreciate. By law, you can say everybody can have same type of house, same type of car. That everybody should have decent living is a very beautiful thing, and it must be true. Is not. ideal of only communist it ideal of every sensible political leader but the way the communist will say is what nobody should have better house nobody should have better car or you know like in a communist russia they were having that or in east germany hey material socialism similarity at the level of the body and the world you can enforce by law but you can't enforce intellectual brilliance thinking capacity to be same in all persons that is why one shakarov one solzhenitsyn great writers in russia they are good enough to disturb the entire society which intellectually there is no socialism that everybody must think only this much that is why communist usually they insist on like brainwashing Usually, in a communist type, most of the political things are brainwashing, like religious brainwashing. This is only God. There is no other God. This is only thing. There is no other thing. You know, like brainwashing. Did I say brainwashing or brain dirtying? You understand, right? It's not brainwashing. It's brain dirtying. That everybody must behave like this. Everybody must think only up to this. What is this? You cannot. You cannot stop. man from thinking infinity absolute 
When you think this is the only world, in this world everybody must have same type of car, same type of house. What are you talking? And no political party or no sensible leader will ever say that somebody should be rich, somebody should be poor. If somebody is poor, you are not making him poor. This person is, they must be provided the chance. That is why sometimes communist struggle also is wonderful. Why? Because most people don't understand the language of the poverty. So they are totally insensitive to the poverty of the people. In one part of the country, very rich. Another tribal belt is totally poor. What nonsense. The person should be sensitive to the tribal people. I mean, a poor person's need. The man who has become rich now started with poverty. When he becomes rich, suddenly forgets every poor person. What nonsense. It's like I am enlightened and I forget the ignorance of everybody. How stupid it will be. <laughs> when you are seeing certain truth, you know how you are in a dump. If I did not study, where I will be? So let everybody be educated. If I did not have money, what shall I happen to me? So let everybody have wealth. If I didn't have the medical facility, what will happen to me? So let everybody have it. So because the riches do not flow into the poverty poor section, so poor section naturally stand up with the arms. You don't need communists to destroy it. Anybody, anywhere will do it. But it's very unfortunate. When you are before the other person demands, if you can help them, why should he fight? Are you getting that point? Why should he fight? But you don't do that. Most people don't do it. It's like, you know, one day there's a nice story, somebody, it's not a story, real incident in London, in England it happened. A man was um, driving a car and going from one place to another place. He was a Jaguar, Jaguar, very nice, costly car. One child suddenly throws a stone and he hits his glass and it's broken and the person stops. Naturally he stops, he goes, side, he goes to the side, he stops the car and comes out and catches that child. What do you think you are doing? Naturally, you know, you lose your glass, eh? wind glass, you know, uh, wind skill, wind screen. So he says, oh, what are you doing? The child starts crying and points out to some direction on the roadside. So, now the crying child, you don't know how he so naturally a person is sensitive, he looks at him and he looks at what the child is looking and he looks at it, oh my God. There is a wheelchair toppled in that another uh, handicapped child is sitting. So this man, can he hit the child, he runs down, picks up the uh, child, picks up the wheelchair and this, this small, this 9-10 year old boy also goes down, also helps him. So both of them struggle and bring it up the, on the highway, not on the, that uh, country road, wherever he had fallen, he brought it back. Then he said, then this man brought it back, now his anger is gone, what is this fellow was lying down there? So then he says, all right, I understand you have a problem. Why didn't you stop? Why didn't you ask me to just stop? Just, uh, 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 you know, shake your hand and uh, dance or jump or do anything. Why don't you stop? Why do you throw stones? He said, that's what I have been doing for half an hour. Nobody stops until a stone is thrown. How true and how pathetic. Isn't it true? Until somebody puts a gun on your head, you will not give him what you are. How many people are sensitive to say something good is going on, let me give. Somebody is poor, let me help. How many people think? Government, and the leaders don't have that brain. The city is becoming greater cities. The villages are poorer, deserted. But city, 10 lane highway, 200, 30, 300 medical hospitals, of course, there are 7 million, 8 million people are living there. But in surrounding village, there are hundreds of thousands of people, not even a good hospital. What do you do? So sometimes, call them Naxalite, call them whatever nonsense in language you like. Some people stay up and throw a stone. And until they throw a stone, nobody looks at it. 
until a um, person converts nobody thinks that uh, they are in the rung of this you know lower rung of the society that is where your caste system should be approached long before somebody feels neglected you must take care of him anyway so all this thinking you must be very very sensitive unless you are sensitive you can't say everybody must think in the same way look at shankara's thinking you know the ultimate socialism comes from upanishads because as much i am the happiness that much you are the happiness nobody is superior nobody is inferior nobody is holier nobody is unholy everybody is beautiful and from that standpoint having looked at it the relatively whatever somebody can achieve you have your mind different type of mind different type of body different type of talent different roles will be there different achievements will be there but nobody feels superior to somebody or inferior to somebody it's an ultimate thing okay now he says read this ha huh. now comes to body level that how you don't get stuck on your body anukshanam yat parirhutya krutyam anadya vidya krutabandha mokshanam ama what is to be done by you krutyam kartavyam what is to be done by you is anukshanam every moment anadi avidya kruta bandha mokshanam you must always every moment strive to free yourself from the bondage born of ignorance and because of ignorance not knowing about myself i have taken this body to be myself because the physical body has no sense of i or mine but what i say deho eh? aham mameti prathitam shariram i say i am this body body is mine does the body say while eating every moment you can become the greatest meditator you know that while eating when you go and take your food when you going for the second help ask does the body need it for whose sake you are eating to keep the body alive or to satisfy your taste bud the primary purpose is to keep the body alive but if you over it are you keeping the body alive or are you killing it <laughs> so am i satisfy my test bud or am i eating for the body that itself is body doesn't say i want to eat why are you pushing things into the body because i want to eat are you getting that i want to eat i torture the body that is how it is always i want to see a movie i pull my friend i want to talk 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 gossip 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 i pull up like Uh, what are you doing in the room? Come here, na. We will go for a walk. What for? What? If you don't go for a walk, the world will come to stand still. And then the what? Talk, 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 talk. Oh, disgusting! You are restless. You drag everything with you. You want to eat. Body should be, body should be fed. But what am I doing? <laughs> Instead of feeding the body. i am satisfying my desire to eat that is why body is spoiled nobody teaches us this what is sophisticated restaurant the more complicated the food is the more difficult combinations which the body can never digest and die richest food right nowadays people are becoming slowly aware but what does it mean richest food there are certain sweet if you eat it is such a high calorie if you take one piece of that one year you don't need to have sweet <laughs> because such a high calorie pure ghee pure che sugar absolutely heavy so continuously you must think about it bandha mokshanam i want to free from it but parirutya not doing it please not doing it what the person does deho parartai yam amushya poshane he gets busy in poshane in nourishing the body not knowing 
This physical body is parartha. It is meant for somebody. This body is meant for somebody. Do you know who? Jackals, vultures. If you don't like jackals and vulture, worms. This body is meant for them. Who lives on this body? This body, who is living on this body? Microbes. You are using it, but they are living in this body. Are you getting that? All microbes. How many microbes live in this body? It is their body we are using for some time. <laughs> like my room. My room belongs to squirrels. I am staying once in a while. <laughs> Whenever you go to the room, one squirrel is running out. They will cut you something and going. You know, whatever it is. Think of it. Don't worry. Like the ashram belongs to Shiva. We come and go. But he is the permanent resident. Yeah? Yes, he is looking at him. <laughs> He must keep guard of this house, no? Are you getting that? He is the only permanent resident. Nobody else is permanent resident. You come, you go, I come, I go. It belongs to him only. No, no. Jokes apart, friends. Physical body. Parartha. Meant for somebody. And you are nourishing it. Thinking it shall hold you, keep you alive forever. It will not. Earlier you understand it better. Or else, Yasajat, Yasajate sa swamane nahanti. If you don't remember this, you think it is you or yours, swamane nahanti. Such a person will kill him. He is a suicide. Kills himself with his own thinking. Swamane nahanti. He kills himself. Frightens himself, destroys himself. Why? Because he majjate, he is lost in this idea, I am the body. In fact, body has no sense of I, body has no sense of belonging to somebody. Does the body feel it belongs to you? You have to keep track of it for your sake. If you don't keep track of it, you suffer. Therefore, keep it clean. If you don't keep it healthy, you suffer. Therefore, keep it healthy. But that much, you cannot take away the mortality of the body. Aging, changing nature of the body, you cannot. Therefore, do not lose yourself with the idea, I am the body, body is mine. Body is body. Okay? Okay. Having done that, then next he says, if you lose your whole time, why does he say that? If you lose your whole time in just pampering the body, you will have no time for yourself. Why people, when you, know, when you come to the study, just one or two pieces of cloth, why they give you? For body's sake, don't waste more time. Whatever food available, fine. Whatever dress is available, fine. Few things. Why? Because I am now looking at myself. Imagine today, if you want a body worshipper, oh, you know, never ending. Go into the toilets, bathrooms of people, those who are real body worshippers. You can't believe. Millions of dollars can be spent on that. What all varieties of gadgets, what all varieties of perfumes, shampoos, you know, moisturizers, oh boy, thousands of varieties. Some people's house is like a duty-free shop. You should, you should get into some type of toilet, some type of bathrooms. When you go there, you, their, the, the toilet, the bathroom itself is like a duty-free shop. Everything is available. Big bathrooms. Richer you are. Tremendous amount of energy spent on keeping the body clean, neat, steady, beautiful, over, not overweight. Mind is absolutely uncared for total insane psychotics. 
you can't stay with them even for a moment so ch- such vain and such vanity now that the person who doesn't spend on money in keeping himself clean is not a wise man it's not like that this fellow is dirty and stupid that fellow is clean and stupid <laughs> one fellow is dirty and stupid other fellow is very clean but very stupid in a clean surrounding you don't expect a stu- clean a stupid mind that is why you are more frustrated fellow is stupid in outside inside all stupid is okay you somehow take it but the fellow is very well dressed up outside but inside is a horrible fellow that time it hits you hard is <laughs> like a rich man fighting for a a rich man fighting for 2 rupees if a poor man fights for 2 rupees you can understand the rich man fights for 2 rupees ugliest sight we so mean that's a poor man's charity is far better than the rich man's charity when a poor man gives he earns 100 rupees per day he gives away 1 rupee per you 1% of his income he gave you the fellow will give you 10 rupees and he wants to sit on his head why because he gives you 10 rupees but what is the percentage he has given not been 0.000001 <laughs> if you think of this sacrifice are you getting that point please the poor man sacrifices anyway think the physical body if you go on pampering think this is me it shall be never ending some people bathe for one hour you know clean for another two hours what type of food the whole arrangement is keeping the body going mind they have no time so do be another extreme all time for mind but no time for body that also is is okay better than the other one do you want to be living in a big house beautiful house yourself a vegetable or you want to be healthy for under a tree which one healthy man under a tree but nothing like being healthy inside a big house but between the two if you give a choice big house you are a vegetable palace buckingham palace you are a vegetable under the tree we are strong okay next handsome body beautiful body stupid mind or ugly average body brilliant mind which one you like brilliant mind but of course fantastic body fantastic mind hmm. but between the two you have a choice body you can neglect but you can't afford to neglect the mind how many people go for it not many people go for that why mind is invisible body is visible so everybody wants to dress up nicely you talk to the fellow you are miserable beautiful dressing immediately attractive but the fellow is full of complexes anger hatred jealousy manipulation complexes inferiority complex superiority complex ho oh, you rue the day you made the fellow why hapwa before i knew i got myself committed to the person what a headache it is that is why divorce it has to be facilitated because if you don't facilitate you shall live with a crook for rest of your life understand you cannot and when you thus therefore body must be looked after but you cannot pamper the body are you getting that looking after the body but not pampering the body where you spend all the time in pampering but in most spend more time in contemplation read sarira poshanarthi sanne ye atmanam didrukshati graham darudhi adirtva वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड इन पैंपरिंग इज बॉडी 
nourishing his body total body orientation body orientation means physical body extension house must be nice bed must be nice all for the body sake no house must be nice body dress must be nice bed must be nice uh, car must be nice everything must be nice and this body must be in this healthy condition now what is the time for contemplation why tomorrow house is leaking dress is not taken care the car is out of shape the bed is broken all that you are trying to keep make your body protected are you getting to keep your body protected what are you are picking up those things are continuously breaking down not only that the body itself is breaking down so he says if to keep your body pampered and to by keeping it healthy you want to be immortal atmanam didrukshadi wants to see didrukshadi didruksha drashtum icha one wants to see didruksha wants to see himself by continuously indulging in taking care of the body or the body related matters such a person is like graham darudhya dhrutva nadim tartum saichati sa ichati he desires intends for what nadim tartum to cross the river by darudhya dhrutva graham graham dhrutva holding on to a crocodile thinking darudhya it is a log of wood you are standing by the side of a river you want to cross the river then you suddenly saw a log of wood is coming towards you you know in the current the log of wood is coming towards you because just the green part of the wood is only available you thought it is a mus there is a mus is a green you know log of wood and there is mus on the top of the thing so you sat down on it and it also started moving and after some time after 30 feet away from the river suddenly it goes down to then you know oh oh this is a crocodile <laughs> so when you hold on to the crocodile thinking it is a log of wood you try to cross the river will you ever cross the river you shall be the victim of the crocodile same way holding on to the physical body pampering the physical body or the extension of the body taking care of the body and taking care of body related matters all the time and the fellow things he wants to be free he wants to be immortal will you ever be immortal why suddenly body will sink you have created a beautiful personal gym in your house you have a personal medical hospital also in case you have got a kidney thing you have got a kidney machine dialysis machine you have got a heart thing you have got a heart machine if you have got a kidney thing you know anything you have got a very well organized hospital also inside your house you have got a palace one room is a medical ward other one is a gymnasium eh other one is a best of food other place normal herbal food other is a natural food you know everything after you prepare everything body drops dead <laughs> understand you can only keep the body healthy you can make it immortal by keeping it healthy you cannot escape the fear of mortality if you want to escape the fear of mortality you better know yourself the immortal that you are not to succumb to mortality untimely you can have the best food take care of the exercise take care of the medicines so that the body is not untimely dead 50 year old dead 40 year old dead but even in spite of best care you can die also the jogging guru died while jogging i remember that name his name is jim fix he was in america he was the jogging guru who made jogging very very popular 
gym fix while jogging he collapsed and died if you do overworking your body shall die like sena was a brazilian race driver formula 1 before this schumacher came in he was the o the icon 27 year old died in what car accident not even on the race track in brazil somewhere you can be the best person best driver you shall die in car accident fighter pilots soldiers they go to second world or first world they go to the front or battle front they escape on the road side they fall and die just imagine <laughs> you escape the battle field where thousands of bullets criss crossing this way that way but you come home somebody slaps you and you are dead now what do you think of it that is where the body is so you cannot make it immortal that does not mean you should neglect it no extension of mortality is possible if you take best care but in spite of best care it can die but with that also your fear of death will not go it shall pass therefore know about yourself so desirous of knowing yourself for some time give up this obsession with your body until you are aware of yourself for some time you completely cut off because if your time is spent in bathing cooking dancing jumping keeping the body fit and in a whole 24 hours not even half an hour for contemplation why 23 hours i'm keeping my body fit understand not only that by chance things are not available to keep your body fit you shall go through tension also this food is not available that object is not available this drink is not available further tension difficult are you getting that so body you give the due importance not unnecessary next mohai ba maha mrutyu mohai ba maha mrutyu mumukshor ba pudadishu मोहो विनिर्जित सुक्तिपदमर्हति बपुरादिषु मोह एव मुमुक्षो मृत्यु मुमुक्षु वन हु इज डिजायर ऑफ लिबरेशन बपुरादिषु मोह दिस डेल्यूजन ओवर दि बॉडी एंड अदर थिंग्स बॉडी मीन्स बॉडी एंड बॉडी रिलेटेड body to keep the body going wealth to keep the body wealth house house dresses then food material then different types of food different types of bed different types of things all that is related towards the body and to upkeep of the body if you lose yourself in that it shall be the death of the mumukshu meaning your desire if you are desirous of liberation you cannot have an obsession with your body or the body related matter understand the difference between obsession with the body and keeping the body fit there are two different thing are you getting that obsession with the body and keeping the body fit like clothing what dress should you put on any dress why to come and attend the class on brahma vidya what fashion design you need what designer clothes you need If you are going to a party, I can understand. If you are going to swimming dress competition, I can understand. If you are going to a fashion parade, I can understand. To come and sit down these classes and think over these things, what dresses you should have? Meditation dress. These days, everything is you know like yoga outfit, meditation outfit. I'm not telling you jokes, you know. this particular dress will give me more energy vibration from that color is so much you know you must be nuts <laughs> and there people are nuts these so called you know merchants of 
मेडिटेशन दे ड्राइव एवरीबडी नट्स सिंपल सिंप्लिसिटी अंडरस्टैंड I told you the difference. I was teaching these children. I mean, this Brahmacharya is an Oriya language. I told, I will tell you. There is a difference between in Sanskrit that sarala jivana and the sahaja, simple living and easy living. Easy living is a disaster. Simple living is a glory. Easy living means easy life means I don't want to do anything. Everybody must do everything for me. Easy living. Are you getting that? Sarala and Sahaja. Sarala means simple living. List of requirements I have. Whatever is there, I am happy with it. Or I can make use of it. Improvise. So that never there is a crisis. No question of precipitating a situation for the absence of something or presence of something. Very Sarala. Easy, simple living. Simple living. Sahaja means... easy living easy living means the person always waits on others you don't want to struggle but other person or whatever comes on the way i you know just take it up easy living what is that easy i feel like uh, drinking something eating something something i do that easy living money is there do it will you complicate your life don't worry that is where you become permissive person like a hippie It's a easy living. The hippie doesn't have a simple life. It's a easy life. Very easy life. Where from money comes? Don't worry. For your drug addiction, you can sell your things also. Ultimately, you can sell your body for that. Why people become permissive? Because they can sell their body. Why? Because whatever I want, I'll, I can get it from my life. whatever i want you sell your body somebody sells drugs somebody sells uh, you know whatever little thing available you do it so that i can maintain my habit it becomes easy living simple living is different from easy living simple living is list of the requirement if is they are fantastic not they are excellent you do not create any type of agitation in your mind for that sake why my whole energy is directed towards understanding myself i am happiness no disturbing that at any time so moha this is the delusion bapura disu moha mahamrutu you know mahamrutu is like a great danger great death for the mumukshu one who desires liberation if you get obsessed with your body and body related things moha binirjito yena sa mukti padam arhati sa arhati he is fit for this mukti pada for this liberation freedom within himself who yena moha binirjita yena by whom moha binirjita by whom this delusion is own over meaning one who doesn't have any delusion you adore your body you take care of your body that much but not body orientation not obsession with the body for anything okay as i told you with the body so many things can come every part can drive you crazy sound touch taste smell sight clothing sleep bed material travel food in fact the entire world is what all your food industry is extension of your tongue or stomach just think the entire specs industry is extension of your eyes suppose your lens are good your eyes lens eh? the lens of your eyes are good today other day one person brought me two three pairs of reading glasses 
He likes me, she likes me. They're, they're my students, you know. So one is 12,000 rupees. I said, what? I have 200 rupees. This is 100, 200 rupees. And every time I don't need it. Yeah, it's there, you know, just put it here and by chance in the evening you can need it. Okay, you can put it on, do it. 12,000. That is cheap. There are also models which are 25,000, 35,000. You can make it for 100,000 also. Because if you make gold handle and a diamond studded, it will be 300,000. Half a million also it can go. Are you getting the same flow? <laughs> You can make for 50 rupees per square foot and 5,000 rupees per square foot. If you make it gold, 5 lakhs rupees square foot. So in gold floor, are you going to sleep better? Gold floor. So deep, snoring. Mud floor, no one sleep. Your sleep doesn't come, na? doesn't matter mud floor, marble floor or gold floor. And if the sleep comes, what floor? Anywhere you are floored. <laughs> Are you getting that point, please? Every part of the body, extension of it is a huge industry. Sound industry, sight industry, touch, taste, smell industry, happiness industry. That is why most of these religious groups or any new religious groups, they are like happiness industry. In our ashram, we have a continuous non-stop singing. Thinking, don't allow, not allowed. Thinkers, banished. Singers, welcome. What do you do? What do you do? In our ashram, we have got 100 varieties of food. You can eat whatever you like. So we come to ashram for food, huh? food festival. A boutiques are available also. You can have any type of dress you like. What type of ashram is that? Ashram traditionally is where you go and ashram means where you asamantat srama, where you go face more difficulty. In ashrams are the places where you should really face difficulty. Do you know why? Because your whole pattern of thinking is challenged. That is why difficulty comes. Difficulty doesn't come because you are not given food to eat. You are not going to die if you don't eat your food. But the whole pattern of thinking is challenged. Whatever you are thinking is challenged. Because who are you is challenged. That's why you struggle to appreciate yourself. So happiness industry. So around every part of your body there is an industry outside. If you lose yourself in either a part or in the whole, where is your time for any contemplation? Nothing. Therefore, are you interested in contemplation? Yes. Forget this delusion. Don't be obsessed with your body. Next. Moham jai maham rutyum. Moham jai maham rutyum. sutta disu. sutta disu. Yam jitva munayo yanti. Yam jitva munayo yanti. Tadvishno paramam padam. So therefore, moham jahi, give up. What? Moha, there is delusion. Listen carefully. Immediately translation, you can see this. Translation is kill this deadly attachment to body, wife, children and others. These are the type of translation. I, at least, some translation. I am not being critical, but please see. If you read, if a person read this, kill the deadly attachment to body, wife, children and others. So immediate interpretation is what? Body, children, others are all source of delusion. Hey, emphasize, moham jahi, give up the delusion, don't give up the husband, wife, children, world. But what is the language people hear? You must give up your house, give up your everything. Running away doesn't solve the problem, listen carefully, running away does not solve the problem. Because you carry your memory with you. What creates problem is your delusion, your dependence. Not your father, your mother, your house, your wife, your body. So what should you give up? Moha. That is what he says. Moham jahi. 
मोहम महामृत्युम जही my son is calling me my daughter is calling me my mother is calling me my sir of course they will call you have you come away because you are tired of them or interested in yourself ask the question i'm tired of my job therefore i came away so you will find another job here i'm tired of my husband or wife therefore i come here therefore find another husband or wife here I was very angry with my friend and I ran away. So find another friend here. What nonsense! Are you getting that point? It doesn't work. Do you come to study? Do you come to understand yourself? Because you are interested in knowing about yourself, or because you are fed up with somebody? Even if it begins with you are being fed up with somebody, let it be understood that you are looking for yourself. why are you fed up with somebody because nothing leads you to yourself that is where your simple conflict is given a direction i come away because job is useless i come away because husband is like this wife is like that situation is like that world is like that i'm so tired i'm come away because i'm tired of my own stupidity i don't know myself what's going on such a person the moment your focus is shifted from others to yourself you become a mokshu desire of liberation so moham but if you take it the statements usually you know in this type of statement the uh, person who is giving you classes or lectures they will destroy your husband your wife your family is destroyed husband is destroyed wife is destroyed personal relationship gone love is finished sex is thrown food is out everything is criminalized so only religion and swami right what rubbish that is where people get obsessed with their gurus total obsession with the guru whatever obsession they had with their husbands or wives or children or friends or anywhere they put that same nonsensical obsession because total focusing on that so there is a competition also who is nearer who is farther there is another tragedy i am very nearer to the guru and yeah? the seat of power you see rubbish if the teacher encourages that the teacher is criminal not the students the students will naturally demand attention but the teacher should not say oh, nearer farther no you have the whole purpose decided for you i want to be absolutely free nothing else no other thing shall distract me on the path my mind is not available for any other thing i can think about food for 2 minutes i can think about the food i have to maybe cook my food gallet my food okay 2 3 hours also goes doesn't matter but rest of the time i'm thinking of myself sustenance immortality these are the two things sustain myself somehow sustain myself and then immortality happiness freedom nothing less nothing more sachi purusha yam jitva amrutayo yanti tad vishnu yam jitva this moham jitva not giving up the family but moham jitva by going beyond this moha this obsession this delusion munaya contemplative people muni means manana shilavan muni muni does not mean dadi ha eh? bearded guy manana shilavan muni those who are contemplative people te vishnu ho paramam padam yati they go to that pada the abode of vishnu what is vishnu व्यापगतवाद विष्णु ऑल परवेशी सो दे बिकम वन विथ दी ऑल परवेशी वॉट इट विष्णु अवेयरनेस ट्रू कॉन्शियसनेस विथ दम सेल्स आई विन टोल दिस नाउ ही टॉक्स अबाउट द बॉडी नाउ ही वॉन्ट्स टू डिस्ट्रॉय योर मोह दट हाउ दिस बॉडी बाई विथ विच बाई यू नो फ्रॉम चाइल्ड हुड एफर्टलेसली वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड विद बॉडी एफर्टलेसली body is hungry i am hungry child can you say hey your body is hungry you are not hungry don't be stupid ah huh? are you nuts <laughs> don't talk to the child 
And from the childhood onwards, all of us identify the body. Why? That is known as the, write down in Sanskrit, Sahaja Tadatmya. Sahaja Tadat means, Sahaja means, Janmana Sahajayate. Comes with the birth. Identification with the body comes with the birth. Because body is born, you are born. Body is named, you are named. Body is growing, you are growing. Body is healthy, you are healthy. Are you getting that? Everything. Sahaja. Janmana Saha Jayate. With the birth, it comes. So every person in the world, whoever you are, you shall begin with the identification with the body. When the snake comes towards you, you take your body away. When the snake goes to somebody, you will you take your body away? Naturally, you know that this is your body, not that. And when the bullet passes through just over your nose, what do you say? Lucky. You go back. And lucky. Why do you say? Goes here. If it goes here, yeah. Even the animal knows it. Shiva knows it. So him a stick will never come to you. So him a biscuit, every day, same time, he will come there. <laughs> what way you are human beings? Body orientation is true for everybody. Even a tree knows it. The tree is growing like this. Another tree comes over here. The tree will automatically go like this. He knows the other one is coming. So it will go turn. It will turn for the sunlight. Everybody knows. Body orientation is natural. Then how do I get out of it? Read. Tvangman sarudi Oh, no, no, no. Tvangman sarudi rasnayu Medo majjasti sankulam Purnam utra purishabhyam Sthulam nindyam idam bapuhu Panchi krute bhyabhu tebhyahe Sthule bhyapurva karmana Samutpannam idam sthulam Bhogayatanam atmanahe Avastha jagarastasya Sthulartha nubhavo yatahe So you know, this one little bit you had said in Tattavod, these ideas, very beautiful. Now he talks about how this body, look at this body, how you really can't be obsessed with it. You can take care of it like taking care of your, there is a difference between taking care of your house and being obsessed with the house. Taking care of your car and being obsessed with the car. Are you getting that point? By chance, something happened to the car, oh, you as though your world collapses. Something happens to the, um, what is that, uh, house, you're, as though your whole world collapses. Same thing body. Body you take best care, but in spite of your best care, body will go crazy. And because the death is inherent in the body, you cannot take away the death from the body. Are you getting that point, please? You can take away disease from the body, but you cannot take away death from the body. That is why people who are healing themselves are dead. The guy who is healing you, is he not diseased? Then why do they go to hospital? Think, think. All these healers, when they go to hospital, nobody knows. That is the only difference. When you go to hospital, the whole world knows. But when the healers go to hospital, nobody knows. When they die, they die. How many of them are around? Oh, he raised the dead. Where is he? Buried, right? It doesn't work. Solving the problem, anybody can solve. Oh, why should I go to disease? When I go to doctor, why should I go to doctor? When somebody can touch me and heal me. Ah. When you go to doctor, you have paid your money, you are not obliged. But to that fellow, you have to sell your soul. <laughs> that he is the dog, you are the dog, you know, follower. Or he is the God, you are the follower. What rubbish? Understand that point. Physically, nobody shall take away your death. Other day, some place I was there. He came and asked, Swamiji, can you heal? I said, yes, I can heal, but I won't heal you. <laughs> Deliberately tried to tease him. 
I said, yeah, of course I can heal, but I won't heal you. Oh, he was feeling so poor thing, simple person, you know. So I said, don't feel bad, tell me. What you are afraid of, disease or death? Oh, sorry, disease. You know, that much is thinking. What can you do? Poor people. That's are the people go to this type of nonsense. Are you afraid of disease or death? I'm afraid of disease. I said, oh, I see. Are you afraid of cold? No. Are you afraid of cancer? Yes. Why? Cancer will kill you. Yes. Disease will, uh, cold will kill you? No. Why? Cold is with medicine, seven days. Without medicine, seven days. One week. So nobody is afraid of cold. With medicine, one week. Without medicine, seven days. So nobody is afraid of cold. But everybody is afraid of cancer. Why? It will kill me. So are you afraid of cancer or death? Oh, death, death. Now that much understanding required for him to appreciate that he is not afraid of disease, he is afraid of death. I said, you think somebody can cure your disease, right? What is the guarantee the cancer will not come back? What is the guarantee the other disease will not come back? If I cure your fear of death, it doesn't matter what disease you have. Interested? People have no answer. Poor things. You are asking think, people to think who has brain is between their you know, toes. You know, no, guys who never think. How can you ask them to think? It becomes very difficult. Because the person has a belief. Oh, somebody will touch me, I'll be cured. What rubbish? What are they? The fellow is healing you, himself is diseased, himself is aging, dying. Oh, no, no, but that person is living now 70 years or 80 years or 90 years. <laughs> there are in Japan and Russia, and there are old people, 115 year old. So shall I worship them? Are you getting that? They are all 115 year old. The oldest person in the world, world is 115. Last year one died, 120 or something. In uh, India, there was one person, he was 115, 120. So many people are nowadays, and so many people, so shall I worship them? Understand. So you are afraid of disease or death? Death. death. Free from fear of death. This body, nobody can cure. So that's what it tells you clearly. So don't be obsessed with it. Take care of the body, but don't be obsessed with it. Because if you are obsessed with it, all time will pass only taking care of the body or body related things. Body related thing is dress, food, house, sleep, everything in fact in life. Please understand. You better watch your mind. Why is it so? We shall see in the afternoon. Okay? We shall see in the afternoon. Because the whole thing now, things, three, four verses, five, six verses will be there. As to what this body is all about, how simple and beautiful it is, and it's not yourself. You have a body, but you are not the body. You are this self-awareness. Close your eyes.